evening all. So, if you saw the last video, we had a mega siege of our mega city. Um, we killed many people, and I'm now stripping the dead. It feels wrong, but it also feels a bit right. <laughs> um, we're just basically, you know, taking their stuff. Look, they've got armored vests, they've got clothes and parkas. We're going to burn the bodies, because that's only fair. Um, but yeah, it was very, very odd. Um, it was very odd. I can only describe that as being incredibly <laughs> fun, but pretty scary as well. So, yeah. Um, I think we're going to have to sort out the problems we've got. So first off, we've got Leo, who is having a bit of a bad one. He has got problems all across the board. He's getting better, so I think we don't have to worry too much about Leo. Pacer's the other one. Pacer's not looking good. Where is Pacer? Uh, Pacer, Pacer. All right, Pacer's starving, so we need to feed... Pacer pretty soon actually. Um, I'm just gonna get them out of bed. Hopefully they go eat. I want them to eat actually. Oh, I don't want them to fight fire for God's sake. I need them not to stop fighting fires. Remove home region. Right, let's just do that. Again, I don't care about fire at the moment because we've got a buffer. So we're looking good. I think we'll just draft and then undraft. Go eat something for God's sake. Pacer, go eat something. Seriously, go eat. Where are you going now? Oh, it's a slight problem with the game at times. I guess ugh, it's not the end of the world. Well, they're starving, no, because they need to eat, so I need to get them to eat something. But I don't want them hauling. Right, we're just going to remove Pacer. Where's Pacer? Just, we're going to remove all of their duties. Just go eat something, for God's sake. Look at that, the level I have to go to to get them to do something that I would need them to do. Right, draft. Oh, what are you doing? Why are they still doing this? Oh, he's trying to eat one of those. Oh, God. All right, fine, whatever. He's trying to eat one of their rations because it's probably nicer. I don't care. All right, the hospital's not big enough. That's one of our revelations. So I'm just going to put him in the bed. I'm going to con, okay. Um, yeah, it's not gone totally to plan. Um, but we did capture two people. So, you know, potentially we've got something we can do with them. You need to make sure everyone's healthy. Um, he's got malaria. Yeah, that isn't good, actually. I don't know. Malaria is infectious as well, so... Oh, this could end badly. Um, what's Naomi doing? Right, just just do it, seriously. Just eat and then go. Got some good weapons, though. Plasma rifle. Looking forward to getting use of that. I think there's lots of good stuff here. Um, it's a shame we had to fight them for it. Um, but this is what they have. This is what happens when they bring ruckus to our backyard. As you can see, we're burning the bodies. Very sad. We should play a bit of music <laughs> over that. Um, but I think generally everybody's kind of. We did well not to lose a single person. Although where's Rush gone? Rush is not doing well. Where the hell is Rush? Right, Rush needs to be in a hospital bed. Um, malaria untreated. Malaria. 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 Oh, gunshot. It's not like. It's not looking good, is it? Um, if I set that as medical, maybe then somebody will come treat them, let's hope. Uh, Pacer is about to have a freak out. Careful management, just to keep them happy, tell you what. Oh no, he's going up, that's good, he's going up, that's fine. Um, the snow isn't helping, and the fire didn't help. Everything didn't help, to be honest, but uh, we do what we do. Right, we haven't stripped that body, so I'm just going to draft him and get them to strip the body. There we go. See, there's a parker. You see, this is all good stuff. And then we'll just undraft. So there we go. You can burn the naked body, which feels wrong, but I guess it's the right thing to do. We should return the bodies, but they tried to kidnap one of my co colonists. I'm not having that. There's another plasma rifle there. Very nice. So, I mean, that was just a hell of a thing, really. We didn't lose anything. A bit of damage to clear up, but I think the lesson of the day, I'm just going to cancel these, is we need more mortars. Mortars do a great job of sieges because we can just bombard them with more than they can bombard us with. So, so that's pretty good. We did lose a wall. Let me just <laughs> rebuild the wall. I'll build that with uh, marble just because that's a great opportunity to do that. Oh, another one there. So they did hit us pretty hard. Um, but I'd say that's probably it. So again, just a good example of where wood was a bad idea. Um, I would say that everybody is kind of strung out from that. So I wouldn't want to repeat that too soon. 
but I would say that that kind of worked. Now, why do we need a grave? We shouldn't need a grave. Um, no, oh, okay. Oh, it's so sad, all of these poor people. Why did they attack us? Seriously, they must have known they weren't gonna beat us easily. But to then attack us, to lose all their gear and not even get a single kill is pretty funny. Oh, Cervantes is up, what's his thoughts? He's probably gonna be quite easy to manipulate, so I think we'll get him, no problem. Um, we're looking after them all. Um, I haven't looked at this person. Oh yeah, even easier, even easier. Witness allies <laughs> death times five. <laughs> nice. So these people are just gonna basically be a little bit sad for a while. I need to make sure that we're wardening them. So let's just make sure we've got all of the right wardens checked because if we don't look after them, just gonna make sure we're all patienting as well because we need to look after our people and we need to also make sure that we we heal because obviously this is the thing this is the thing of battle is that you know that it's the after effects that are horrible you know the actual battle was just what it was but now it's the the terrible the terrible kind of recovery of it all we're lucky we didn't lose anyone but i think we might still mm. yep i think this is not looking good yep scarpy has got sick everyone's got malaria so we are going to lose people potentially we could lose the whole colony here as well um, but there's not much that we can do about that, to be honest, other than just making sure we've got medicine. Well, we don't have a lot. So I'm just gonna put these on hold. So I'm gonna suspend all work except on making medicine because medicine has got to be the priority now. So, and we've got all the materials. We've got cloth, we've got steel, and we've got, ooh, no we don't. We haven't got any of this herb stuff. So we need to get that cooking pretty quick. I wonder if there's a ship in orbit. Let me see, no. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well. Plus it's winter, which I don't know if that helps or hinders me somewhat. Um, we'll see, Leo is out of bed, so he's looking better. What's this? Kelly has developed an infection in her neck. That's not good. So what's the infection health? Let's go here, so an infection, mine untreated. Again, they're all just suffering from gunshot wounds. And I think really it just comes down to now, do we have the medicine to treat them? And the answer is we've only got three and we need to give them medicine daily. So already we've got a problem, pretty big problem as well. And I don't know how long it's gonna take for these to harvest. Yeah, we could have a problem here actually. And I think, yeah, I think we're gonna have, yep, so they're all starting to get infections. Again, we're just gonna make sure we feed them. So this is becoming part of treatment. So let's just have a look. Clovis, I think, is gonna be okay. He's got an infection, but again, I can just chop, and this is gonna sound odd, I can chop quite a few legs off because I've got loads of prosthetics. Let me show you, if I go to my inventory, I've got, what, seven prosthetic arms, four prosthetic legs, and so on. So I can start kind of hacking legs off if I need to. Obviously, I really don't want to do that, but Rush is not looking good. And I think Rush, yep, Rush has had their right leg shot off. So already we're gonna have to do something on Rush. Um, where is Rush? Yeah, Rush in that bed is not particularly good either. Oh well, um, there's not much we can do. I think we're just gonna start losing people now. Um, that is the unfortunate nature of these attacks is that Infection, malaria, having malaria in the base is disastrous as well. Having that while recovering from an attack is probably lights out. Now this is the beauty of these games is you may look and feel strong at any point, but look, that just took me from hero to zero. And you know, I'm hoping that these people recover. I mean, if I look at the health of them, you know, he's got malaria, it's minor and untreated, malaria, minor and treated. You know, the, these people are gonna have a problem now. Um, and I can't really quarantine them because I just haven't done that. So I think really we're in a bit of shtuck now. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to do what they used to do in the long days before medicine and we're just gonna have to you know, wait it out and see what happens. Who is having a mental breakdown? Gerard, why are you having a mental breakdown, bruh? Where are you firstly? Where's Gerard? Gerard, what's wrong with you? Okay, so he's, <laughs> he ate off the ground. Right, I'm just gonna forbid this food because they seem to be really coming all the way out here to eat it for some God knows. In fact, I'm just gonna forbid all of these things here. Forbid, 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 forbid. 
except the corpses because I don't want them to rot. So just, just stop coming out here. That's what I'm telling them. Just stop coming out here. Nothing to see here. Just move along. So where the hell are you going? Seriously, where are you going? You're going to go and kill a beaver, right? No, you're not. Go away. <laughs> I swear to God, these people are annoying. Right, draft, undraft. Yep, go back to the thing. Eat food in here. There's food in here. Go eat it. Right, Gerard. How close are you to flipping out? Well, no, he's all right. He's all right. He's feeding his mates, so that's good. Scarpy's holding in there. That's my bro, Scarpy. Oldest dude we've got, I think. Yep, that's fine. You go eat, and then in the morning you'll eat, and then you'll be fine. But you're sick as well, so that's not good. You've got malaria, haven't you? Yes, you've got fucking malaria. Oh, freaking malaria. That's not good. This isn't good. Uh, need colonist bed? Where? What was that? Make beds. Place of lack to sleep. Well, let's just make that a colonist bed then. Oh, and that one as well. There we go. So you've got to be a bit careful of these things because sometimes you can misclick something and then it all goes a bit wrong. Um, blood of Leo. Mm, that's not good. Yeah, he's this guy's suffering actually. I think, to be honest, Leo might be in a bit of trouble here as well. Right, hopefully Gerard's going to sort himself out. Looks like he is. Come on, let's go to Thoughts. Yep, so he's going up now. That's fine. Ooh, need a grave? No, we don't. We don't need a grave at all. I think we're surviving. I have a feeling that we're going to survive this one. Um, the medicine thing needs work because we've already <laughs> just run out of medicine. So, yeah, that's not good. I think we may have to just harvest this. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to harvest these. So let's just set that zone orders harvest. Oh, I can only do a few according to that. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. We need we need medicine pretty urgently. I wish I'd made a much bigger pile of it, but I just couldn't. I didn't have the time. It's always the way. Right, so I think we'll cut that. We'll join us next time to see if these guys pull through the long, dark night of malaria. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.